Back at the Magic Kingdom today, it's a day of change. January 24th, 2021 marks the end of a long running game at the Magic Kingdom, Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. For those who don't know, Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom is a card game that you can play here while you're walking around the park. You actually interact with portals and you make your way to beat the villains around the Magic Kingdom. It is so, so much fun, and the even more fun part is being able to collect the cards as you make your way through. Today we're going to experience it together. You can see I've collected most cards. I'm missing a few right up here and one or two at the end, but I do have many of the cards and several of those special holiday ones as well. I will miss this game, but today we're going to celebrate it together and play. Let's do it. We're gonna play the game together. Source is the Magic Kingdom. It all starts here from the fire station on Main Street USA. Now as we make our way in, I wanna kind of show you some of the posters that are here. I love this game. Look at this, apprentice sorcerers needed. No experience necessary in their battling Hades and Maleficent. Shield this land from danger. Learn magic spells to fight the forces of evil. And you can see Merlin right there. Now the point of the game is to collect crystals around the Magic Kingdom and defeat those villains. You can see they've got uh, several kiosks here where you collect one pack of cards per day whenever you check into the Magic Kingdom. You get the crystal in and out, boom, we take over the Magic Kingdom. I'll get myself some real nasty bad guys. The first thing you'll need to know as a sorcerer is that the Magic Kingdom is full of mystic portals. I've drawn up a map of the portal locations throughout the kingdom to finally you'll be armed with some of my best spells. Stopping by the firehouse, you get a special Halloween card. They have some extras, one card pack, and a map. You can see them all right there. You can get one every day, no matter how many times you've played, to try and complete your collection. I'm gonna try and complete mine by the end of Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. Now, my hope is to complete my collection by the time this all ends. Now, I have to figure out what I need. The cards are all numbered. You can actually see one, two, three on the bottom left. You can actually tell which cards you're missing. Right now I'm missing card number 7, 8, 9, 11, 13, and everything above 60. Those are extremely rare cards, everything above 60. But let's see if we can complete more of the set with what's in this pack. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see which cards we got. You can see they've got all these cards kind of disguised, so you can't see either side, but I can get a small glimpse. Let's turn them over and see what we get. Lumiere's Candle Blaster, enough I have that one. Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blaster, got that one. Mike's Grand Entrance, like that one a lot, but I have that one. Yensid Sorcerer's Hat, I have that one. And we've got the Blue Fairy's Wand Wish, wow. So you can see we've got all these cards already, but I'm gonna add them to the collection so we can use them during today's game. Now, before we get into the game itself, I wanna show you some of the cards and their powers. You can see number one is Apprentice Mickey's Broomstick. Super, super nice. Every time you use one of these cards, a different power will appear in the game. So you can actually see your power is reflected in the game itself. I'm gonna try a few different cards today as we walk around, make our way, and try the game out together. We're gonna make it through several different uh, rounds. Hopefully we'll make it into the medium mode. There's an easy, a medium, and a hard mode. You can see there's a ton of different powers that you can use. I'm also, of course, gonna be using that special Halloween power as well. You'll see something very unique when we use that card. It's gonna be so much fun. I wanna start off the game by showing you what a standard portal looks like. You can see they have this very cool Source of the Magic Kingdom symbol right on the ground. Now you've gotta stand right there in order to make it work. But you'll be able to see this just looks like a standard, you know, train schedule screen. But if you touch your magic band to this little key, right there, something is going to happen. Now to be honest with you, I can't remember where I left off in this game, so we're gonna find out where we're supposed to be first. So we've gotta go- I am not in the old- We've gotta go there instead, that's the wave one. But you can always find where you're supposed to be by touching one of these portals. And there is a map that you can use to make your way around. And we make our way throughout all of the different areas around Magic Kingdom. The different lands all feature different portals and different ways of interacting. They all have different stories as well. We're gonna run through as many as we can today. Our next portal is right over here. Now I know where they are, but you can find them on the map as well. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a bit, but let's go ahead and continue our game. See what Merlin has in store for us. Who already delayed the henchman from the dogs and put Jasper out of commission? <laughs> 
some of those portals are a little bit more difficult to find. You actually have to go searching for them. There's our symbol on the ground, so you know that key is not too far away. Let's see if we can face Cruella now. Now, there is a little bit of the magic that I want to share with you. This game uses a very advanced set of cameras. You can actually see them if you look carefully. Okay, now we're facing Cruella de Vil, so we're going to use this special Halloween card and stop her. Take a look at this. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Halloween. Okay, here we are at Aloha Isle starting off this new version of the game. So there are like different chapters of the game. What I'm gonna do is something I've never done before. I'm gonna try holding the entire book up to it. Lazuli, god of the underworld, has offered me another chance at fun. Now, as promised, I wanted to show you the map here in Adventureland. See the little fire kind of right there, kind of across the way from the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse? That's how I know I'm close. It's right around here. You can follow the map all the way through and look at those symbols along the way. Okay, we're here at the next one. Take a look, we see the lamp. Let's go ahead and fight off Yzma. You can see it's actually different. It varies depending on what you have to do. Here's the card itself, the, the spell card. Then use the crest on the back of the spell card. There we go, we just did it to defeat Kronk and stop us all turning into alpacas. Now we know it's a Tortuga Tavern, but you can see the little snowflake slash star right there inside Tortuga Tavern. It's actually pointing us towards the fireplace, just in case we get lost. Or, you know, we could always ask Jack. I'm sure he'll know where to go. Okay, inside Tortuga Tavern now, we're gonna find it right in here. Oh, oh my gosh, wow, there was a medallion at the bottom. What was that for? My shirt. Oh, it was because of your shirt. Oh, yeah, I got wow. a shirt from 2012. I did not know that there was a shirt associated with that. Wow. Okay, we're at the next one here in Adventureland. Don't forget, we're currently playing the easy mode. Hopefully, we'll get to the more difficult ones in the next few days. Fingers okay. crossed. Finish off. One more to go, and then we finish the easy mode. There we go, the bells. That's just from randomly showing the book right there. Definitely a great way to play right there. We finished the Adventureland version. Now we're going to continue on to our next area. During direct sunlight these can actually be very difficult to see i'm gonna try and uh oh my gosh you can't see anything i can't see anything but uh i can kind of see it in there i don't think this first one we cast our spells here oh it's a pocahontas that i didn't know that uh she was part of the story wow okay i think i know where we're going next and pocahontas is here to guide us along the way Every so often the cameras have a tough time picking up the card, but uh, when that happens, they end up shining a light on the card and it's able to read it. Oh, oh you startled me, sorcerer. Ah, don't sneak up on me like that. Oh, Ursula has already broken through the seawall. Now, as Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom comes to a close, you can see there are actually long lines for the portals here. I'm uh, third in line to get to this portal right here in Fantasyland, making our way but having a great time. I love the different characters that are featured throughout this uh, game. You can see Ariel right there. We're at the end of the Ursula adventure here. We're about to expose Ursula's plan. It's devilish, it's scary, and there's Ursula Tentacle. Oh my gosh, scary! Gotta be honest, I've gotten lost a few times in terms of where to go. I've been using the map more than I thought, but I think we're about to make it through the Fantasyland adventure. There it is, just like that. Ursula is gone. Oh, well, maybe we have one more. Maybe we saved the day, but now it's time to move on to a new land at Magic Kingdom. Where are we headed next, Merlin? You've won Sorcerer, but the adventure isn't over. If you'd like to continue, please go to Liberty Square. We're headed back over there. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, we're at Mardi Gras and you can see Dr. Facilier is uh, gonna come and uh, try and spoil the pot. Take a look at this line. Goes to show tons of interest as the uh, Source of the Magic Kingdom comes to an end here. Oh my gosh, so we're number four. We were number five. We're number four in line now. Look at this. It's a lot of people here. All right, Mama Odie, tell us what we have to do. There we go, just like that. Look at those card men right there taking over the shadow man. There we go, freeing Tiana from the snake. And off we go. All right, let's go get that crystal. All right, Merlin, what you got for us? Good timing. Shall we welcome our unexpected visitor? Uh-oh. Okay, we'll get her this time. We're at the uh, frog portal now. Lots of spells. Lots of spells to take down Maleficent. 
There we go, just like that. Look at that. Uh, 2319, 2319. Doubled up some of those spells there by showing the entire book. We actually were able to do a double spell. All right, we won this next chapter, but it looks like there's one more to go. The adventure is over, but we're on to Adventure Land. Let's head on off there. I think we got one more. This is probably our last one. You must stop, Scott. Don't worry, Rafiki, we're on it. this broken circle. All right, let's take on some of those hyenas from Scar. I gotta tell you, I love the community of those who play together. I've met a lot of great friends as I've been walking around, several of whom actually gave me a few cards that I was missing. Just a few. I'll show you at the end. There are a couple of very, very kind and generous. Now we're on our way back into the Tortuga Tavern. This may be the end of Scar. I think we're about to eat to beat. Oh my gosh. About to beat easy mode. We'll see. I'm going to try to get as far as we can today. Oh my gosh. Speaking of an amazing community, look at this. Look at these cards put out by other players for those who are maybe missing some cards. How nice is that? That is fantastic. I might add a card there. There it is. Multiple at the same time. Look at that. I think that's like five different cards at the same time. That's amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh. Now he's super scar. Super scar. Last hit. Here we go. I have never in the entire time this game's around made it to this point where you see, wow, the pirate. Oh wait, Aladdin, excuse me. I said pirates. It's Aladdin. It's Aladdin. Hmm. I love the puppet show the genie has. Turning back into Jafar from the genie form. Honey, living space for Merlin. Wow, that's funny. Right. We might just beat Jafar. Now's the moment. Let's beat Jafar. Oh, he's got Merlin. No. There we go. Look at all those. That's at least five different. Yeah, that's five different spells all at once. Wow. We got the lamp. There goes Jafar. This is it. Our final battle with Hades. I have never done this before with Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Ooh, pain and panic. Okay, here we go. Is this the final battle? I have a feeling it might be. And a great portal to do it at, too. Look at that window effect. One final portal. We just beat Hades. Oh my God, it's a, it's a cool feeling. I cannot believe it's taken me this long to play all the way through. This is it, the final moment to thank you from Merlin for beating the game. The end, just like that. We mastered the silver level. We did it! We became level one silver level sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. Now we're gonna go back to the fire station because apparently they'll give you a second pack for, of cards after you complete one full round and then you can start on the medium level. Now, my hope is to at least start on the medium level. There's a cheat sheet, there's some some special attacks, there's stuff I have to learn. I'm gonna go into it a little later, but Disney, I, I'm a, now I'm addicted. I should have been, I should have been playing for years. That, it's my mistake. I still can't believe we won. I mean, that's, that is awesome to me. I ran into a friend as I was walking out and gave him a bunch of my cards, the duplicates. It's just such a, I love the community of people who have cards together. It's so, so much fun. All right, here we go. How are you? I just completed for the first time ever. Yes! <laughs> for winning, I get to ring a bell? <laughs> That's awesome! Thank you, Shelly. That's fantastic. You're making it extra magical for me, I'm telling you. That was amazing. I'm going over to Guest Relations right now to thank the cast members there. I, I, I gotta do it. I've done this many times, but I just want to tell you here in the vlog. I, I'm going. They, they make keys come true, and it's called the keys. Shelly and the entire team over there, just to give them kudos. That's all I'm gonna do. Because this has been, this is magical. This is magical. No, no worries. Just wanted to pass that on. Thank you, thank you, yeah. appreciate that. That is so fantastic. They, they were appreciative that I went up there. Okay, now we're going for medium. There's no way we're gonna finish it today. We're gonna at least start it, just a little bit. We're on level medium. It's the middle level. There is a hard level too but let's keep on going. Medium level, here we go. Oh, this is so cool. They actually have the, just the challenge for us. All right, here we go, let's try and get this. Oh my gosh, so it, it actually fails on the first time if you don't get it right away. That's amazing. Fourth or fifth time with Jasper. We'll get this done. Two different cameras there trying to uh, make sure that they can see me. Jasper took four or five different attempts. We're trying to get this one on the first try. I love how they're skipping forward. Just the attacks, because we've already seen the story on easy. Come on. Yes! Yes, first try. First try. Yes, second time. Woo! Oh, there's a third level. Oh my gosh, she's got three attacks. There it is, sure enough. Got her for the third time. Oh my goodness. 
That is so, so cool. We got four, no, three different attacks. Oh, sorry, excuse me. This is the fourth one right here. So you have to actually attack her four different times. Come on, there you go. Just like that on the medium level. That is so cool to see. So it's like attack, 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 like a lot of very, very difficult. Let me tell you, one miss and you got to keep on going to the next spot. It's very difficult. I'll tell you that medium. I mean, I can't even imagine what hard is like. Hard difficulty has got to be like impossible. Holding up the book of cards and an individual card just in case. Uh, it's not picking up. All right, now I'm going to try and use that flashlight again. See if we can uh, make this work. But the sun's behind us. So you're basically seeing what the camera can see. So it's very, very difficult for the, uh, the game to pick up on it when the sun's behind me like that. So that definitely works to uh, point your flashlight on your cell phone right at the car so the cameras can see it. I'm on medium right now. All right, here we go. I gotta try and beat this guy. Really? Okay, so wait, how does that work? Okay, go to the cheat sheet. Okay, the cheat sheet. So it's orange because it didn't use the right cards. Yeah, he used a quick attack, so you have to use a quick attack. So I'm learning from my friend Jacob that I'm actually playing wrong. I've been playing medium wrong. Thank you for telling me, Jacob. I really appreciate it. And I have a cheat sheet. I'm going to link to it. I'm going to, I'm going to find a way to link to it. But there's a cheat sheet so that you know. It's not really a cheat sheet. It's, it's like what works it's, with. It's answers. It's answers. Okay. Because I, I just, the cards were activated, but I didn't, it, they didn't take down the guy. His name was Lawrence. I didn't take him down because he didn't use the right attack. Yeah. So using that sheet, which I will link to, you're able to figure out which cards you have to use. So I, I, a, I thought that was only for hard. That's mm -hmm. for medium too. It's for medium and hard and easy. Also, on the on on the on the card, there is a link to it. There's a link to on, on the, the card. On the card. Okay, so that's that's how we do it. So I've got to be more strategic even now on medium to yeah. see which cards I'm using against which opponent. Thank you, Jacob. This is awesome. Okay, learn something new. That's amazing. I had no idea. I actually on medium you have to use the powers because I, I was able to activate the cards. It worked. I, I hit them. No problem. But then it, the whole kind of perimeter of the portal turned red or orange. And Jacob told me that he was, he was right there. He was like, this is why, because you're not using the right attack. So I'm gonna look at that and try and figure out which person I'm supposed to use against which enemy. Wow, this, this game is, has so much more depth than I thought. Okay, using the quick attack for Lightning McQueen, I'm gonna see if I can beat Lawrence the Soldier. <laughs> Right here. I think it's because the sun was behind me on this one. You have to kind of combine all the tips. Wow. Looks like other friends are using that same tip to use that flashlight on your phone to illuminate your card so the cameras can see it. Okay, I've got the cheat sheet. I've got my flashlight right here. Let's see if we can do this on the first try. Sure enough, we got them again. Flashlight and knowing which ones are right. That's amazing. I, I, I used the right ones, but he still survived. And it wasn't a, a red surround. So maybe, maybe it's just like super difficult and he just kind of moved. I, oh, I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the exact same cards again and try and get Radcliffe because that was, I thought I got them. I thought those were the right cards. I gotta look at the cheat sheet again. I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay, I took another look at the cheat sheet and flying is Radcliffe's uh, weakness. So I was using a uh, blue and a Donald's pinata, but his strength is, is uh, wishful and Aurora's on the same page. So Aurora was getting picked up at the same time and he was able to defeat the other, where he was just able to defeat me even though these other two were used. So it goes to show, you really gotta start paying close attention when using those cards in the game once you get to medium. Apparently easy, it does matter too, but medium is like, it's, it's really, really important to know. This is very cool. Okay, we're trying it again. I'm covering up Aurora right there to see if we can take him down with uh, Baloo and Donald. Come on. Yes, we were able to do it with the lights. Try again. Sure enough, we got him. It worked. You got to use the phone light and the right cards. Wow. I got to be honest with you. I was not planning on staying this late. I wasn't. I'm just having that much fun trying to figure out how to do this. So I'm looking at the little cheat sheet right here. Figure out we're going to Adventureland, but I don't know who I'm facing. So it's going to be like a, a very quick, you know, change over the card. Holy, wow, it's, it comes so fast. It's so easy to miss because I'm, I'm checking the cheat sheet and also look at my cards at the same time and you have moments to, uh, to try and get that right. It is unbelievably difficult. Okay, I figured it out. That was the alpaca guard I just went up against and um, immediately it's just like, okay, here's the attack, go get him. And I didn't have time to tech, you know, check what I wanted. Sure enough, he needs uh, charming. Got three cards charming, except for the quick one, which I will also include because quick shouldn't have an effect either way. We should be able to beat the alpaca guard from Yzma in Adventureland. Oh, it's you again. I still was not able to get her on the first run. I think maybe you're not supposed to get her on the first run. Like you, you're meant to have to go a second time during certain difficulties. So 
One more time, we're gonna try and beat Yzma to end the night. Made it about halfway through the medium adventure. I will 100% be back to the Magic Kingdom before this closes to finish it off, and I do wanna finish hard. I wanna really, really try. Can't tell you much I enjoyed it. I absolutely love this game. When I was here, I saw so many other Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom enthusiasts who actually, I, I traded away many of my duplicates, but got every single card I need except for card number eight, which I have no doubt I will find at some point. We, we basically completed an entire set on this day as we're thinking about the end of Sources of the Magic Kingdom. In addition, a super, super nice friend gave me, look at these, some very limited edition, not so scary Halloween party cards, which I did not get in the past, along with the orange bird one there. I, I cannot tell you how much I love this game. I gotta tell you at this moment, I'm really hoping that they come up with something else to bring us in its place. I'm really hoping that whatever it is that is to replace it, let's just, let's just put that for a second, to replace it, it's something physical, physical, like cards or something, something you can collect, something that you can hang on to, something you can bring with you. I think that incorporating more of the numbers right here and the more of the strategy to the game would like earlier on would create an even greater game or maybe giving the option at the beginning you want to play on medium hard easy levels when you first start off in the game that would make it even more exciting i know it's set to be retired i absolutely understand that but i'm holding out hope at this point after playing here i i really hope they upgrade it with something just I, anything, anything where you, you well, I'll start a new collection, brand new card collection, brand new anything, but something physical to collect. Play Disney Parks is a lot of fun. I'm not saying it's not fun, it is fun. But having something physically in your hand that you can collect and kind of show and share with others and walk around, everybody's kind of enjoying it together, that is so Disney to me. That is so, so Disney. And I gotta tell you, honestly, I'm sorry I didn't start on this sooner. I should've been playing much, much sooner. I loved, loved, loved this game. I was just thinking to myself, what makes Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom different than Play Disney Parks? The cards, the physical cards, the things that you do. Could they incorporate something like that on your phone? I think perhaps it would take a lot of effort to do, but somehow the physical cards make the difference. You really do. You know, I enjoyed it when I played for six hours straight and forgot to eat uh, lunch. I was I was just having a great time. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.